If your Galaxy S25 Ultra or Plus keeps dropping calls or you keep seeing the call ended in the middle of a conversation and it just gets disconnected, I know how frustrating that can be. But don't worry, I'm going to show you some easy fixes to get your calls working smoothly once again. But this happens mainly for network issues, minor software bug, or some call-related settings. Alright, so first go ahead and check your network bar at the top. Just check if it's full or broken. So next what you can do is uh, turn on your airplane mode, then just go ahead and restart your device. Press and hold the volume down and power button until the screen goes black. And then just leave your device for 25 to 30 seconds while it restarts back again. After the restart, just go ahead and turn off airplane mode. And it's recommended that before making a call, it's better if you turn off your mobile data if it's on. If you're still having the problem, now we're gonna check some call bearing settings. Open up your phone's app, tap on this three dot, from there go to settings, scroll down for supplementary services, enter call bearing. Now we have it turned off. If it's turned on on your device for all the incoming calls, just go ahead and disable it. Now next, we're gonna check out some network related settings. Open up settings from your device, go to connections, scroll down and uh, to mobile networks, make sure in network mode, the highest network like 5G preferred is selected. And if you're using dual SIM, do the same for both of them. And after that, what we're gonna do is just open up settings once again. Now we're gonna scroll down for apps and um, search for SIM toolkit. And then just go ahead, go to storage, clear cache and clear data and then press delete. If you're using dual SIM, do the same for both of them. If your problem is still there, lastly, what we're going to do is check out a sure firewall, and that's reset mobile network settings. Open up settings and simply search for reset. Go to reset mobile network settings to reset settings. Enter your screen lock if it's enabled, and then just press on reset. Now, as before, if you have dual SIM, do the same for both of them. And apart from that, whenever you have this problem, just go ahead, eject your SIM. Make sure it's not physically damaged or there isn't any just a debris in there. Wait around for some time, and then just go ahead, place it back on. And that's it. Hopefully, you no longer have this problem. Thanks for watching.